Hey, hey! It has been a while since we posted our last video. Our life has changed so much. The two of us live in Sweden now and Molly is going to celebrate her second birthday soon. Last summer I decided to quit my job in Germany and we moved to Gothenburg for a master's degree in marine science. Molly and I are currently living in a shared flat with two further roommates in a smaller city close to Gothenburg. Though we miss Cork dead a lot, we enjoy our girls only life here. Molly loves to crash my yoga sessions. But well, ain't nothing bad about just laying on the mat and cuddling this little fluff ball. I love my studies and got to know great people. But our favorite days are the ones without classes and when we can start the day with a cozy and slow morning. Days in life in Sweden move slower. That's something we can confirm and learn to appreciate a lot. However, living in a new country can be challenging at times. No reason to sugarcoat the kibbles here. We are still following our morning ritual of coffee and cuddles as often as possible. But some mornings tend to be a bit busy while living together with others. Honestly, I am envying Molly, who simply got to pee outside and does not have to discuss bathroom times. Taking walks around here is great. Like in German cities, our fur friends must be kept on a leash. This is also applied when walking in nature from March through August to protect wildlife. In nature reserves, dogs must be kept on a leash all year round. There are quite a few designated dog playgrounds around, but sometimes we just play anywhere if no one watches. Some days I have online lectures, exercises, project tasks or simply work from home. Molly prefers taking naps then, or she's bored, or bored napping, or making sure that no one comes to steal us from our place. You never know. Think she has to guard that lovely human of hers. On shorter university days, or when I go places without Molly, she stays in my room. Though we were not able to train that much alone time in Germany, she has been adapting pretty well. And we have a Molly camp, which gives me some peace of mind, especially during the first time. And I still like to check what my little girl is doing. I try to keep it no longer than four to five hours maximum. Fun fact, Cork Dad can log into the camera from Germany and gets to see Molly too. Maybe she feels a bit like Cork parents are watching you. Who knows? Still, there are longer university days, which were a bit problematic to deal with, but I found a good dog care for Molly. These days I draw 
drop her at the dog kindergarten between 6.30 and 9 in the morning and pick her up somewhere in between 3 and 6 in the afternoon. There are a lot of dogs there, small and big ones. Molly joins a smaller group of 3 to 5 other dogs depending on the day. They get to chill together and play in the garden. Initially, she had to learn not to guard her sleeping place, but she managed well over time. She loves the step, but is always overly excited when I come to take her home. The best thing about Sweden is that no matter where you are, Nature is always close and you find spots without any people easily. We can drive to the coast in 15 minutes and there's a nature reserve right behind our flat. This forest became one of our favorite places. We will move to Gothenburg city in April and will for sure miss this area, but we are also excited for Gothenburg city life. Well, this has been our little update for now. If you liked it, give us a poor five. Please leave us some comments or questions you might have. Also, go follow us on Instagram for daily stories. Hey do, Okade Sopra, Fabi and Molly.